Okay, so here is a fresh valve section. It's about to go into a horn, but before I install it, I wanted to show just a couple of things about uh, the particular way that I'm doing these. Um, one of the things you'll notice is if you look straight down the tubes this way, we have little solder tacks that go all the way um, on each of the outer slides um, to hold um, the B-flat return branch in. Um, and This can be a little bit of a problem if you ever take damage on uh, this branch, uh, if you drop a mouthpiece in the horn or something, or you get a dent here. Really the only way to repair it is um, to you know, use a saw and you know, cut this down the middle here, take out each section individually, uh, and then put it back together with a with a ferrule here, which is you know not optimal, but it certainly can be done. And the the main reason that I'm doing it this way uh, is because I'm trying to get the entire valve section to vibrate as a single unit, uh, rather than having different parts uh, allowed to vibrate. So you'll notice as I um, as I tap on this valve section, no matter where I tap. Um, you know, I can tap different parts of it and get the same kind of sound. So basically, you know, energy is, is being shared uh, along the section as a, as a full unit. Um, another, another way you can see this, if I, if I hold the, the valve outers here and then I tap, there's nothing, right? So clearly the energy is being shared um, if I hold the valves here, they can vibrate better. So it's a little bit more difficult to build this way, but I think it's worth it um, to have the whole valve section vibrating as a single unit.